I'm Tony Kirkham, Head of the Arboretum and Horticultural Services here at the Royal Botanic Gardens, Kew. So I came to Kew in 1978 to do the Kew Diploma and then gradually worked my way up through the ranks to where I am today. I choose what species we plant and where we plant them and I choose which trees come out. We have 14,000 trees at Kew, representing over 2,000 different uh, taxa from all around the world that all require different things, you know, different pruning techniques, different planting techniques, uh, and every day, every day there's a challenge. I'm, I'm often asked, what are your favourite trees at Kew? I have to whisper because, you know, they're all around listening. I, I wouldn't like to offend any one of them because, you know, they're all special. But I suppose if I was coming to Kew for the first time, the trees that you have to see, I would say you've got to see the Luckamock. The Luckamock is a, an old tree that was planted in the uh, late 1700s. It's a hybrid oak with a great story and it's full of character. It's almost, it's very Harry Potter, Tolkien-like. So, you know, a must. And it's one of our big heritage trees. Now we're into cherry and magnolia season. So for amenity purposes, for color and flamboyance, we've got to be looking at a cherry, a Japanese flowering cherry, and I would go for uh, the Yoshino cherry from Tokyo. That's what they chase when they talk about hanami in uh, Japan, uh, Prunus yedoensis, and we've planted quite a lot in the Rose Garden and the Azalea Garden. The highs of my career over 40 years, I think, first of all, every day coming into work. I've never not wanted to come into work, so it's been an amazing job, an amazing career, working with fantastic people. I would say that, you know, one of the laws at the time was a hurricane in 1987. It was all doom and gloom. It took us three years to clear up. We lost 700 trees at Kew, mature trees, so it made a big hole in the collections. And when I look back now, that was one of the best things that ever happened. You know, we learned to decompact trees, to de-stress trees. We learned how to plant trees properly. And we embarked on a series of expeditions to collect trees from all around the world to bring back to Kew to plant in the Arboretum and replenish the, uh, the woody collections. The next high would be building the treetop walkway in 2008. I used to climb trees as a commercial climber and when you get up in a canopy of a tree, especially in summer, it can look and feel so different and I wanted everybody to be able to experience that. Receiving the MBE has, has got to be a highlight for, for anyone. Yeah, I remember the day receiving the letter that I'd been suggested by the Prime Minister to the Queen to receive it. So I had to keep quiet for about two weeks before I could tell anyone, which was really difficult. And the four of us went to the palace, my two children and my wife, and I received it from, uh, from Prince William. It, it, an incredible day. When I leave, I, I won't leave Kew. I, I'll always be an ambassador for Kew, you know, it's in my blood. Uh, I will become a regular visitor.